In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a no-code full stack app using Lovable, NNN, and Superbase. We're going to build a simple app that will give us the ability to log in, sign up for an account, interact with our ChatGPT-like interface, and all of the backend stuff will be handled by NNN using our AI agent. And then all of the authentication and all of the chat history will be saved on our dashboard inside our Superbase. This is going to be a no code solution and a step by step tutorial. So make sure you stick around till the end because you will know by the end of the video how to connect your front end using Lovable to the back end in NADN and store all of your authentication and chat history in our Superbase database. All right, without wasting too much time, let's jump right into the video. All right, so what we need to do is we're going to start fresh. I'm going to get rid of all of this. We're going to build everything out and then we will start with a brand new project. So what I'm going to do is first thing I need to head over to Lovable. So let me get rid of these ones that I already have set up. I'm going to click on lovable.dev. So if you've seen my previous videos, I kind of did a step by step tutorial several times. So this is part of the deep dive topic series called uh, full stack web apps that I'm doing for my school community where I kind of go through in details and step by step explain how to connect your web hooks to your NADN via the front end and then also how to create uh, more robust apps and everything. So this is going to be kind of a continuation of that. Uh, if you're interested in checking out kind of the other details or the other step by step tutorials, please feel free to check out the uh, community. I'm going to put the link in the description. Anyway, so what we need to do is I'm going to start fresh. I'm going to go ahead and come down to this section, which is um, create your first app with Lovable. Again, I did the tutorial so you can watch this video earlier as well. So I'm going to come down here and I can select an entire um, this universal lovable.dev uh, prompt generator that I created. It's always a good practice to use a universal prompt because that way you don't want to waste your messages in and in, in, uh, lovable, especially if you're using the free tier, they give you five messages per day. So you want to make sure you're using some kind of a prompt generator to be able to create that. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to create this particular one right here. So this is just kind of like a uh, modern look for a coach AI app that I did. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. So I'm going to come back to my lovable here and I'm literally going to just paste this. So one very important thing is we need to be able to communicate with our webhook. So what we need to do is right here, we need to uh, get rid of this is insert your NADN webhook and create our webhook inside our NADN. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my NADN here, create a new uh, workflow here. So what I'm going to do is just quickly download this um, NADN blueprint instead of starting from scratch and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and download this, come back here, import from file and bring this over here. All right, so this is just a simple AI agent that I created where it essentially uses the webhook to communicate from our front end and lovable and then to our back end here inside uh, my uh, NADN workflow here. So you need to make sure you're copying, if you're using the test URL, make sure you're copying the test URL. Uh, if you're using production, make sure you're switching that properly. But I'm gonna leave everything as it is. I'm just gonna copy this, come back here, and literally paste this. So that way it has the ability to interact with our back end via this webhook. So I'm gonna press enter and let this thing build it, build it out. So while that's being processed, let me quickly show you exactly what's going on here. So we're receiving all of the information via the webhook in the post method. Um, again, I did a step-by-step -step tutorial on this, so make sure you watch the previous video uh, called build a full stack app with, or build a full AI app. Um, but essentially we're receiving all of that information from Lovable via this webhook. The AI agent is grabbing that information from the body of that JSON. And we're using a simple system prompt saying that your helpful assistant provide brief three sentence responses, right? And we have a SERP API tool that's attached to it here that gives it the access to the internet. So that way, if it needs to do any kind of research, then it does that as well. And same thing, we're adding a response to webhook. So that way, we're sending this information back to the front end via the webhook. So it looks like it's still being built. Let's go ahead. Let's just go ahead and let that finish. All right. So it built this nice little landing page called Aspire, Discover Your Purpose and Believe Dream Career. And again, this is just a AI powered coaching service. So I'm just going to click on start your journey. So let's test it out to make sure that it's got connected. So if I say hello, let me see what's going on. Error failed to get advice. Okay. So it looks like it's throwing an error. It's very, I mean, the good thing about, um, lovable is that it is. It's really easy to fix things. So let me go ahead and, oh, actually, I think because I was not listening here. So if I click on test workflow, let's try it again. There you go. So now it looks like it's sending the information uh, from our webhook here. It's being sent and let's see what's happening here. So it's not, it, look, it looks like it's not receiving 
um, the information back. So all we have to do now is tell lovable that looks like we're not receiving the response from the webhook from an event. Okay, so let's you just type that in and then this will uh, go ahead and fix that to make sure that it's receiving the information back from the back end from our NADN AI agent. So let's just go ahead and let that finish. And then the next thing we will do is basically go ahead and set up our super base so that way we can have our chat history safe there. And then also we'll have our authentication there as well. So let this let this thing finish first. Get rid of this. All right, looks like everything is good to go. Let's try it again. Test workflow. Boom, okay. Let's try this thing again. Hi, how are you? Okay, perfect, there you go. So it looks like now it's working, right? Because we can see right here, it says I'm just a program here to ready to help you. So it looks like now the communication is occurring properly. So now the next step is that we need to go ahead and change or we need to add our authentication, right? So the way to do that is, first of all, we need to connect our super base. So if you come to the top right hand corner right here, it says manage super base, it's right next to the GitHub. If I click on this, this will go ahead and open up um, my projects that are inside my NADN. So another thing is, uh, you need to make sure first of all, you're connecting your super base project. So if I go to my super base now, my super base dashboard, and you want to make sure you're connecting to the proper organization. So right now I have this uh, AI workshop org. So if I go back to my lovable and I click on connect Superbase, so now this is going to pull up the uh, Superbase authentication. All you have to do is just click on authorize lovable and this will have a connection. This will develop a connection to your Superbase account and then all of the projects will upload here and then you can essentially very easily connect to your um, to your um, projects that are inside your Superbase. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. All right, that looks good. All right, perfect. So now let's go ahead and go inside because I have like two AI workshop orgs. This kind of looks confusing. This was from my previous um, project that I did, but this is the one that we have right now. So if I go inside my super base, you can see right now I have this project called NADN, but you can create a new one. But inside this NADN project right now, as you can see, I have no tables. There is no authentication. Everything is clean, right? So let's go ahead and go back to my table editor here. So again, if you don't have a project, all you have to do is just click on new project here and just select your organization. Superbase gives you two free projects so you can easily add a new project. But for now, like I said, I'm just gonna leave mine as it is. Go to table, table editor. Now let's go back to our NADN. So since uh, this is the project that's there, I'm just gonna click on connect and just click on connect again. And this this shows that everything is connected. So let's go ahead and refresh the page here. So that way this shows that everything is connected and perfect. As you can see right here, it says connected. So now our, that our uh, super base is connected, if I click on go back to projects, now you'll see on the left-hand side, this automatically updated the left-hand side. It says your app is now connected to super base. You can work on fully featured backend, all right? So now what we need to do is we need to be able to have the ability to add a sign up or a login account right here. As you can see right now, there is no uh, button where I can sign up or log in. So I'm going to say on the left hand side here, can you please create a sign up and login and store the auth in Superbase. So users can see their chat history when they log in. Okay, I'm just gonna press enter. So what this is gonna do is now, because we've already connected our Superbase account, this will automatically now know that the connection is valid and therefore it's going to create our authentication and create our login and sign up and shift all of that to our um, super base right here. So again, right now, as you can see, I have no table. It says no tables or views. And then if I click on authentication again, there's nothing going on here. And in a little bit, you'll see that it will automatically create uh, tables, one table for chat history, and then one table for login information. And then also on the authentication, you'll see that when we sign up for an account, 
our email and our authentication information will show up in here as well. But let's go back to the table editor so that way you can see when this thing gets uploaded. And on the left hand side, it created the SQL code. So all you have to do is click on apply changes. And now this is gonna just tell Lovable that we have reviewed the SQL code and it looks good. Go ahead and run it. So let's wait a couple of seconds. There you go. So on the left hand side now it says perfect. That's the database is set up. Let's implement the authentication system and update our chat interface to store and retrieve messages from Superbase, right? So that's what we're doing. We're using our Superbase backend to store our chat history instead of uh, because if, if you don't do this, then what Lovable does is actually stores the chat history inside your, your web page, which again, inside your web browser, which is not a good use case or it's not a good practice. Therefore, you want to be able to make sure that as you can see in the left hand side, now it created this first table called chat messages. So let's see what's going on here. It's still creating that because right now on the right hand side, as you can see, there is no place where I can log in or sign up for an account. So that's what it needs to do. It needs to create the user interface as well, where we'll be able to sign up or create a login or be able to log into our account as well. Okay, perfect. It looks like the authentication is complete. Now it should refresh the page. So that way it can give us that option to log in and sign up. And there you go. It's spinning up at the preview and perfect. So now on the right hand side, as you can see, it says sign in, right? So, and if I click on sign in now, now this is clickable. So now we can either sign in. If you already have an account, you can sign in. But for the first time, we're going to go ahead and sign up. And if you want to change the look and feel here, feel free to do that. That's very, uh, very simple to do. All you have to do is just kind of chat with Lovable and Talent to change. But let's go ahead and I'm going to put, uh, oops, I'm just going to put my email. Okay. And I'm just going to put a password. Oops. So now before I press enter, you will see right now, again, I have, let me refresh the page here. Um, so right now I have this chat history table. And if I go to authentication, uh, right now you can see I have no authentication here, right? There is no data here. Now let's go ahead and enter this and we should be able to, if I click on sign up, now this is gonna sign me up. And it said in the bottom, it says sign up successful. Please check your email because we need to also confirm our email, right? So right here is please check your email for verification. So if I go to my email now, and there you go. So I've received an email called confirm your sign up, right? All I have to do is now click on confirm your mail. So before I do that, let's go ahead and refresh the page here. So now that way you can see that there you go. My uh, e email just got added. And then I also got a new user ID. But on the right hand side, if you see last sign in at waiting for verification. So now if I click on confirm your mail, now this should, uh, don't worry about this site can be changed. So if I now refresh the page, this should verify me. And there you go. You can see last sign in at this time, right? So it looks like everything is good to go. Now I've got my authentication here, my email. So now if I go ahead and uh, sign up for another account, right? So let me get rid of that. Get rid of those. Jack Smith, whatever, at gmail.com, right? So I can just create a password. So now if I click on sign up, this should also send that user um, obviously, since it's sign up successful, please check your email for verification. But I, you know, that's just a, a dummy email. So if I go here, I just want to show you that now I have another user that I should be added. There you go, right? Jacksmith at gmail.com. And this is the, this one is, uh, hasn't been verified yet. It says waiting for verification. But this one that I created earlier with my email, that's good to go. So let's go ahead and try to sign in with that. So this time, let me actually refresh the page. All right, so now this time I'm gonna sign in. So I'm just gonna put my email. I'm gonna put my password. And this should remember that, so now it's just signed in. There you go, perfect. It looks like I'm logged in. I've got all these stupid things that are pulling up. It says sign in successful, welcome back. And on the top right hand corner, this switches to sign up, right? So now let's go ahead and click on our start your journey. So now what we need to do is we need to interact with this and then the chat history should be saved on our Superbase table. So let me go ahead and test the workflow here. Hi, how do I switch careers? To AI, right? I'm going to send this. This is going to process that information. So now it should be able to now store this chat history onto our super base table. There you go. So it says to switch careers to AI, start gaining foundation knowledge, blah, 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 right? And this is grabbing this information from the back end on our end. So now if we go to our super base, 
and go to our tables here, table editor, click on chat messages. And this is now where you can see all of our, let me maximize this a little bit. This is where you can see all of our uh, chat history, right? So if I expand this a little bit, there you go, perfect. So now we have our uh, chat history and everything saved on our table. So next time now when we log in, we'll be able to actually retrieve all of this information. So let's go ahead and test that out as well. So now if I click on start your coaching, so this is going to show up all of the all of my existing um, um, chat histories, right? So if you want to remove this kind of animation, so that way each time you log in, it doesn't go through that animation and type it out. You can tell uh, Lovable, hey, I don't I don't want the animation. I just want to see the chat. So, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and do one more. How are you? Just an example. Oh, I forgot to listen here. There you go. So now it's good. It gets processed. Cool. So now we have these chat. Let's go ahead and take a look at it one more time. Refresh the page. There you go. The last message we sent was, how are you? Right? Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and actually log out. I'm going to click on sign out. Sign out successfully. So now I'm going to refresh the page. So this time, if I press this start your Korean page, you can see sign in to save your chat history and send messages, right? So now we've kind of locked in our, um, you know, interaction with our app behind this login or sign up right if you don't want to do that if you for example want to say hey you know what no i want to be able to have the user the ability to interact with the chat however in order for them to see their previous previous chats they need to be able to log in and sign up so we can certainly do that all you have to do is just on the left hand side type that but for now this is good because this does showcase the ability for us to uh, put that uh, user behind a sign in so let's go ahead and sign in again so i'm gonna click on sign in put my email Okay, password, sign in, perfect. Now, if I click on start your journey, there you go. Now we can see our chat history from previous. Again, if you want to remove this animation, you just tell it, but you can see now I'm able to retrieve all of my chat history from my previous conversation because of the fact that all of this is saved on my Superbase table here. And therefore, I will always have access to this. And same thing on authentication side, you will see that this is... Um, our authentication is sitting right here. We can always remove um, a user from here. It's very simple. And then everything will get updated in the front end. Okay.